I was seated in my office, taking a moment to relax, though I knew it was risky. Thoughts of my recent time with Will, my lover, filled my mind, setting a certain mood. As my fingers slipped between my labia, I was already lost in the sensations, edging closer to climax, until the incessant ringing of the phone shattered the moment. Mrs. Proctor, there's a visitor here to see you. Is this an unannounced appointment? I'd never do that. She insists it's urgent. Shall I turn her away? No, give me a few moments and then send her in. Almost there, I muttered to myself, quickly composing myself for a professional interaction. Send her in. A sharply dressed woman entered, stunning in appearance with impeccable makeup. Someone who might pique my interest if I were inclined that way. Mrs. Dana Proctor. Yes. Husband Trevor Proctor. Yes. Why do you ask? I want to confirm I have the right person. My name isn't important. I'm here to inform you. I'm the woman who'll be collecting your trash. Excuse me? You don't seem like someone in waste management. She chuckled. It depends on one's definition of trash. Mrs. Proctor, I'll be the one picking up what you're about to discard. I'll be the one consoling your husband when you discard him. Shocked, I blurted out, what on earth are you talking about? I'm about to present your husband with evidence of your infidelity. He already suspects, so he won't be surprised. I have what he needs to see. You're insane. I love my husband, and I haven't cheated. Is this some kind of blackmail? I'm calling security. Go ahead. She tossed an envelope on the desk. What's this? Proof of the affair you deny. Pictures. I couldn't fathom how she had obtained these. Will, and I had been so careful. But there they were, unmistakable and condemning. How? How did you get these? Your lover wasn't as discreet as you believed. He boasted about his affair with a married woman at a local bar. A friend tipped me off, and after a few drinks, he spilled everything. I challenged him to bring me proof, and in three days he did. No, I didn't sleep with that slime ball. He thinks I will after he provides a clean STD report, as if. That scoundrel. Dear, it takes two to cheat. I've been interested in your husband for a while now. We've been having lunch almost daily. Trevor has confided in me about his concerns and fears regarding your marriage. I've been gathering insight for him once he ends things with you. You're mistaken. Trevor, and I don't have issues. We're happy. Sure, happy couples cheat all the time. Let me tell you how we got here. Fine, go ahead. Your husband noticed your disinterest in him. He says you've seemed preoccupied with something, or someone, else for a while. Your intimacy with him dwindled while your affair with Will grew. He claims your recent encounters have been less than fulfilling, to put it mildly. That's not true. Our intimacy is fine. I always express how much I enjoy it. Your words won't sway him anymore. Your actions have already spoken the truth. Have you too? You know. Have we been intimate? I'd wish. He's committed to his vows, regardless of your fidelity. I don't expect him to cross that line until after the divorce. Divorce? What divorce? The one I've been preparing him for. I expect he'll be too overwhelmed initially, so I've taken the lead, had my lawyer draft up the paperwork. Which brings me here. I want to discuss settlement terms to expedite the process. So, what do you want in the divorce? You husband stealing manipulator, there won't be a divorce. Trevor loves me, and despite my mistakes, I love him. I'll apologize, promise never to stray again. He'll forgive me and give us another chance. Do you really think he'll forgive you after seeing these pictures? The image of another man with you will haunt him every time he looks at you. He might even be sick when he sees them. Dana, if you don't cooperate, I'll make your life hell. I trust Trevor. He's kind, forgiving, not vengeful. What a terrible man. No wonder you strayed. Let me show you how dirty I can play. I have emails for your parents, his, your neighbors, everyone here, 
even your devout supervisor. Imagine their reactions to these. You're blackmailing me. I could lose my husband and job. Cooperate. You'll need the job post-divorce. Your lover won't provide much once his wife gets these. You're bluffing. He's not married. I've seen his place. That's his love nest. He's had affairs before. Here's his wife's profile. Check for yourself. I need time to decide. Two days. Read the settlement draft. I've been fair, given your behavior. Trevor won't want harshness despite the hurt. Fine. As she left, I asked, why are you interested in Trevor? I have everything I want, but Trevor has qualities I value. He embodies beliefs I admire. Your husband isn't just a package, he's what's inside. I guess that's the difference. She saw him as a gift. I got greedy and saw him as disposable.